Yeah, I think both of them are super common characters, and uh, I I think they're also pretty common among the youth. They're both characters that like you can push really far with both good neutral and good tech skill, and that's like that's things that these youngsters kind of have to put in the game. Yeah, they're, they're as, as, as I like to call it, all rounder character because you could you could uh, rush down and also camp really well. Yeah, they they kind of have everything a character needs to thrive in the game, and that's awesome. Yes, and now we're starting to all these chains have dropped. Rob, Rob's aerial is really good, really quick, except for his back air, but the only thing good about the back air is how strong it is. Oh, and it lingers forever. Yeah, it lingers forever. Right. That's what Rob mean. I, 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 I have used it a lot. Yeah, I think, yeah. Rob doesn't really have a bad aerial in his kit, but there is one that stands above the rest, and that is neutral air. Look at him. He yes, we call that the combo starter here, right. because, of course, it starts combos, and is the most used toolkit in Rob's team. Yeah. I mean, of course, consistently using it will keep giving him, like, advantage date, especially at 160. Yeah, yeah and... Uh, and especially pairing it with Gyro, you can do some nasty combos with the uh, Nair startup and using Gyro combos. Okay. What are we looking at right here? The ledge so, trap? Yeah, using the Gyro in order to bait him and in order to jump. It's really nice play. Going around the Gyro. Oh! Fun fact about fun fact about Gyro. If you want uh, your opponent to fly towards your direction after they hit Gyro, you have to look towards the direction. You want to yeah. Fly. Gyro sends direction you're facing when you throw it. Which Anyways, enough bias about Rob. Let's talk about some some Steve. I mean, this Steve is pretty good. It only got 52 percent, but that up throw is gonna kill no matter what. It, although it's pretty weak, once it gets to a higher percentage, that is. Yeah. You're dead. The scaling on that move is crazy. At low percents, it's a combo starter. At high percents, it's a kill throw. It kind of has everything you would want in a throw. Yeah, God of Skill over here. He's using his using his blocks in order to space out. He, get, he has to get those material, materials. One thing I've noticed is uh, God of Skill keeps rising with like the, the Nair one up air, which, I mean, normally he's going to start a combo on Rob, but this percents insane. are way too high. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that better hit. Yeah, he's running away in order to get more materials. It looks like his pickaxe broke. Yeah. He was able to repair it. Yeah, although he's able to repair it. Ooh. He's at 80%, 86 right now. Ooh, that's gonna kill? No, no not yet. That doesn't kill until a little bit later. The advantage state here is gonna be huge. Yeah. Uh, this matchup is very uh, very even in the hands of a good player. Yeah. But in, in terms of this matchup, he's, in, he's a really good Rob. I've played against him many times. But God of Skill, do not mess with him like any other Steve, really. You have you cannot underestimate his toolkit. Fast frames, uh, setups, beyond your imagination. Anything could happen. Yeah, I mean, as soon as he gets started, that's when he's really gonna... Oh, nice pair. There it yeah, is. that up smash scoop. Especially with a big body like Rob, you, can, you, can, you have to be safe. You have to respect it. Dude, he's got multiple diamonds. He's got one crafted and one on deck for his next stock. He's looking really poised to make a comeback, to be honest. Yeah, he's saving that diamond for next stock. Okay. And, ooh, yep. That kills? Yeah, when yeah. it comes to platforms, that kills very early. Okay. So far, he's down to stock, but do, do, not, do not kick him out of the tournament yet, because he still has the life going. Okay. Oh, Gyro. Ooh, Gyro makes ups. Yeah, Gyro, I mean, Gyro doing a lot, to be honest. The, the space it's controlling this matchup. I'm noticing that God of Skill is relying a lot on his side beat in order to do damage. Even though side beat is one of the strongest moves in Steve's kits and probably one of the fastest and most versatile, you can't use it much because remember, it costs materials. Yeah, and again, Rob has tools to break it down like Gyro and Neutral Gy Beat. Gyro, Neutral Beat, and up there. Yeah. It's kind of hard because Steve now has to think, okay, I can't use minecart here. What button can I press to start like getting these neutral wins? Yeah, but he's in a tight spot here. If you're good. Oh, ooh, back here killing it. though. Yeah, since Rob is at zero, he can do some. Real... Damn. He just popped JV, him. Did JV too? Yeah. Very nice, very nice game between Tiesten and God of Skill. Yeah, pretty smart of Tiesten to honestly just say, oh, I have invincibility, so I'm just going to come down. I'm going to take this big swing. If it works, I win. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to retreat with invincibility. I'm safe. So, yeah. really, really good risk reward. Not, not just retreat with any move. It's a powerful move, and it kills early, especially from center stage, like we just saw. 
Yeah, absolutely. 100% on Smash, though. Uh, as Steve, I think a lot of times you want space to mine for resources, so maybe we're going to see a different stage, something close to, like, and FD fun, or Kalos coming, yeah? And fun fact, Smashville and Town and City, there are Steve's worst scene if you're not only other small, they don't give that much, that many good material. Yeah. So FD would be the, the favorable thing. Yeah. But it, this time, like, PS2, also one of Steve's best stages. Yeah, because, because it's the largest stage, legally, in... It's the largest stage. Steve needs all that room in order to camp and mine, get materials. They can rush in and get that kill. Yeah, and the material drops are really good. I think you can't even mine wood or dirt on this stage, which means that eventually you will only be building walls with stone, which is really powerful. Anyways, let's go on to game two over here. Feisty okay. start. King Combo, he's trying to get a combo, but uh, Batiste in over here, he's trying to... Uh, He's retaliating it with that up there and the gyro, dude. You, you have to use the gyro. It really does. I feel like one thing that keeps getting him caught is trying to minecart into gyro, trying to like move around gyro when you just kind of have to respect it and wait it out. Yeah, I, I saw the beginning of a up air string, but it didn't end well. Ooh, he missed the timing and he got into the minecart again, so unfortunate. But I think that was a lot better from King Combo, uh, Mr. God of Skill over here, because he was able to like, instead, he waited the gyro so that he couldn't get gyroed out of minecart. I think that's the kind of respect you have to have for the move. I, re I definitely respect Tyson because he's, he's saving that gyro to, for moments that he... Uh, is it? Yeah, that he yeah and when he doesn't, like, when he has gyro out, he's ready to laser. Oh, Ooh, he's trying to cover roll, but he yeah. misses the spacing. Yeah, that's what I love about gyro. Like, you can cover so many options with it. And just by standing still, you don't know what you're gonna... You're, you're, your opponent doesn't know what you're gonna do. Mix so much up. And uh, fortunately, Tiesten here lost a stock, but he. Ooh, Saibi does not kill you. Yeah. Um, okay, but we're looking at a really strong advantage today. He has got a skill here for a really long time. Uh, down throw, up air? Yeah. Yep. If you, if you met that, uh, the, the only option you have is up, up throw. One of the Ooh, he started the combo. One of the benefits of being next to your opponent is you can hear their mash. And Tiesten, of course, could hear that the mash was going insane right there. And he was capable of just punishing it. This is why I prefer the the circle smash. The mash. circle mash. Yeah, it's a lot more ambiguous. Yeah, it's oh. quieter and it's actually quite uh, faster. Look at this though. Yeah, I got a skill. He's try he's keep he's keeping the gyro and keeping the way. He does not want Tyson to have the advantage. Yeah, no got a skill actually finding the lead in this game. Um, I feel yeah, like Tyson's having a bit more uh, issue keeping him at the ledge because he has a lot more stage to Ooh. play around with. Oh, and the F smash. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't just throw out side B's like that. Side B yeah. is super committal. Super committal. It's yeah. strong, but like it's got a lot of end lag. And I mean, it, Diamond F smash is of course gonna always be able to punish that. Especially uh, how much for someone saw that? Oh, and the up there, the up there string is when you rob that 47%. Okay. He's no. Oh, wow. He got diamond immediately after crafting this very. Is diamond RNG or is well, it after a certain amount of time? It's like around the same spot, and I think there's small RNG elements to it. Mm. I could be wrong though. That's interesting because he needs all that RNG in order to pull out. Oh. But he has diamond right now, but he's gonna save it for the next stock just in yes. case if he dies. Well, and he already has diamond crafted on all his tools. That is true, but you never oh, know. Yeah, Ooh, the pressure that plate. is hard to avoid. Yeah, that's a huge hitbox. Yeah, and since Rob's so big, he's gonna naturally just get caught there, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, especially with Rob's, his lower body is, it's a hexagon, it's large. So, and since he rotates it, you can basically get a tiny part of the hitbox, and that's gonna be so devastating for Rob. Just, but now these games are tied. He's a competitor. Now, and all it really comes it's an even matchup, as I say. It all comes down to the stage selection. One one back on Smashville. I'm kinda wondering why it's not banned here. Uh -oh. yeah, Steve, Steve struggles on these stages because of how yeah. small and the materials. I feel like it's, again, if you're playing rock, you wanna be on Smashville in this matchup. You wanna be on like maybe Yoshi's. Um, those stages where you can kind of really restrict his movement and say, okay, there's not a lot of room for you to make make subs in neutral. Like, when you minecart, it's it's going to be right here every single time, and he's ready for it. Every yeah, single that, minecart. That nair is big. It, it's a little bit of slow startup, but the end line so okay. makes up for it. God of Skill actually managing to find his combo right there. Ooh, the grab. Ooh, there's a nasty grab range. Did you see that? Yeah. It was amazingly played by Tyson. Yeah, the spacing here is immaculate. Uh-oh, what are we looking for? 
Okay. Got a skill. Oh, he was too high up. No, the backer didn't come out because he got caught on the flat. Oh, but up tilt up air. No, uh, that doesn't kill you. If no you DI if makes you up. jump up air, then yeah. that would have killed him. Well, I think the DI was just fine, too. I feel like if, if got a skill DI, Ooh, it would have been. Ooh, the mix up with the what side. What a good cap with side B. Yeah, it's, again, it's highly committal and definitely not the right approach, but in this case, I worked in Teaston's yeah. favor. Well, one thing I like about Smash Bowl is there's a lot less room to work around the side B. So, like, of course, it's going to be less risky to go for it on this map. Oh, Ooh, but you got to keep be careful for an anvil, dude. This is, this is like Looney Tunes here. Anvil, though, not going to kill off the top because of the high uh, top blast zone on Smash Bowl, though. And it has a low blast zone. Yeah, it's got... So... Whoa! Oh my god! Oh! He hit a gyro combo. And those are the those are the gyro combos that we love to see here, ladies and gentlemen. I do them all the time, but it's really nice to see someone else doing it here. Let's see if we can do another one. That was so yeah. hard. Yeah. Uh, stuck on the ledge, dropping down though to avoid the TNT. Very smart. Uh, got a skill, not pressing it, but pressing that side beat. It's all and right. He still has two stocks to work with. Oh, Ooh, using that gyro to frame trap. He did yeah. not expect the gyro. Combo in back air. I uh, hit pretty hard. Oh, Ooh, 51 off if he, one touch. If he had diamond, I think uh, that probably would have been near. Ooh. Yeah, if he had diamond, it would have come close to killing. If he had diamond and did back air there instead of fair, it would have killed. Ooh, the air dodge. Oh. Saving it, but not for long. Because remember, giant, uh, Rob has so much. Yeah. Oh, the gyro, gyro saving, saving him. him. Oh, no. Uh, unfortunate, but still, he's pressuring you. Yeah. Gotta still that. finally getting diamond. Do you think he can stop jumping into that, bro? Jump. Yeah. Ooh. He, he's want to, he wants to grab. You can see him fishing for it. Yeah, I mean, grab's gonna kill, of course. Um, uh oh. I would personally. Run into him. I personally would have done a down, down here. Okay. I would. Timed it correctly. That, that hitbox is huge, and he can kill really early, especially Steve right here. Day. No iron. How is he gonna close with? Wow. What what is he doing? That was. What is he? Cooking? That was a little bit of spaghetti. I feel like better punish could have been found, and a better option than up smash could have been found. Oh, he can't. That be, actually kill him. Yeah, it oh was powered God. by gold. He can't mash it. That pass out of it. I think he could have mashed, but there, I mean, that, that would have taken it, good mash to escape. No, it, it was just a reaction time. Oh reaction. man, dude. Uh-oh, up throw. That's dead. Is it landing? It does land on the platform. That stock. That, that was an amazing game. game. Landing this. That was an amazing game. Incredible. You see better this really pulled up? What a good find right there. Dude, I just... That's, that stock. Incredible. That, that gyro combo at the end. Wow. Just... Right. It's gonna be the down throw up there, yeah. It's the safer option between the, uh, between the, uh, the way less committal than like up tilt or up smash. Yeah, up smash only really works if you can get the read on the mash. Yeah, because if they don't match much, they it scoops up. Here we go. Oh, the back air. Yeah, you can, or F smash. Yeah, you can see him. He's like, he's, yeah. he's like, ah, oh, yeah. It was his mistake, unfortunately. But here we go. We play number three. I didn't know that um, <laughs> his <laughs> eyes is like, damn, that hit me. Yeah, dude, uh, you, <laughs> that was broken. It's not that it's broken, but oh, it, it, is, it, is, it broken. is broken. <laughs> Here we go with that committal side B. What really a good catch. Yeah, really good catch. Here, here's the combo. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> no way. Yes yeah, way. It's, yeah, yes way. It's unbelievable. That move is broken. And then he still almost has the comeback, but... Yeah. I always say that Rob can't kill. Because he can get opponent to like 180 and they can make it back. Yeah, I actually, I've noticed the same thing when I play Rob. It's like, uh, just his, his tools in general make it, like, kind of hard to find kills. 